our client, an iron ore mine in Postmosburg, Northern Cape, South Africa, was facing challenges. They needed a conveyor-to-conveyor -conveyor transfer chute solution that could handle a maximum throughput of 1,400 tons per hour. The material specifications included bulk density of 2.6 tons per meter cubed, lump size of 31.5 millimeters, and dry material, making it prone to degradation, spillage, and uneven belt loading. We knew we had to come up with a custom design solution to address these challenges. Our scientific approach to the dynamics of bulk materials handling helped us develop the streamlined approach to controlling the direction, flow and velocity of the material, reducing dust and ensuring absolute control of the material during transfer, eliminating degradation. The key to eliminating degradation is controlling the transfer of material onto the conveyor belt, requiring an in-depth understanding of how material needs to be transferred and factors in changes of direction, impact and height of the transfer. The system's geometry must move material through the chute with gradual directional changes and controlled velocity to minimize impacts that lead to degradation and dust generation. Additionally, discharge onto the conveyor system must be correctly controlled and as close to the belt speed as possible. We implemented these principles in our custom designed transfer chute solutions for the iron ore mine. The success of the project was evident during a three month inspection during which no spillage or wear were reported. Controlling the transfer of material onto the conveyor belt guarantees increased cost savings for clients, in addition to improved health and safety performance. At Weber Chute Systems, we pride ourselves on incorporating transfer chutes that have been custom designed and engineered to suit specific applications with optimized plant design that considers each element within the process flow. This global best practice ensures that each Weber chute system is designed to maximize efficiency and reduce maintenance costs.